Hello. Hello. How are you? I, I'm fine. And you? Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. Busy as hell, but. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so in the meantime, I also uh, developed a code for you. So web programming. So in this programming, uh, just you can simply uh, import your shape file. And in this shape file, you can also uh, select your own region. Suppose you can simply select your uh, state or select your district. Then it automatically showing you all of the information about the land use, land cover classification, as well as also get all of the statistics you can easily get. So I simply share my screen. Then you can easily understand. Just a minute. And can you can you can you export? Yeah, you can also export it. Yeah, yeah, you can also export this as a raster. Yeah, raster format. Yeah. So, for the area, for, for, for the whole areas, or four areas, or for each single one, if you choose a single one. Yeah. So you can see, I simply share my screen, then you can easily. Sure, okay. <coughs> so now, can you see my screen? Yeah. <coughs> So in this code, you can see I simply uh, added all all of your cities. All of the cities I simply added. Suppose in okay. this time I want to need the cities for the land use land cover classification, uh, and also need to export and also need to make the statistical part. So I simply click on here. Now I can get this uh, region, all of the things you can see. Uh, for now it's showing this uh, land use land cover classification map. Okay, and also okay. you can see when I need the another cities, I simply uh, select the this thing. You can see now it will be showing okay. this uh, re, uh, region. Okay. Yeah, and when I want to export it, yeah, when you want to export it, you can simply click on the tax step, then it will be. So I have yeah. to write the export for just a minute. I simply write and the export. It, it only exports the single one, or it exports all. Single one. Okay. Oh, perfect. perfect. Okay. Just I simply write the question. And you said also maybe the statistics for each of the nine classes. Yeah. And I simply add all of the things. Okay, so now you're exporting the selected one. Okay. <coughs> okay. Yeah. The main problem I have is I'm not a I'm not a programmer. So I, I've asked you for all these functions and somewhere you've done it on another yeah. so <laughs> another, I can another okay, so, script. Yeah. So I see that in another uh, trip, yeah. but I can't I can't even figure out how to clip a data set. But never mind. <laughs> okay, no problem. So using you uh, I also send you all of the source code so that you can easily use the source code and you can easily get the, all of the output. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So in this time. Suppose I want to select any specific set. Suppose uh, this guy is simply set. Yep. And now I want to export it. Yeah. As you can see, tax tab is also open. Okay. When I click on the tax tab, now it will be export this. Uh, uh, okay. You can use any name. Okay, any name. So I simply see. change the name. Suppose. Any. So it's the it's the. So it's a folder name study I can put this. You can use any folder name. Suppose I simply put the folder name is that a roster, roster. Yeah. Yeah. So in this time you can see okay. it not set it only for the any any region. Suppose I simply select this region. Uh, in this region I want to need yeah. this TPMS. I simply select this, and when I simply yeah. select this, it automatically display the TPMS. And when I simply yeah, open I mean, on the tax tab, it will be just run. It will be export. So it only exports the one I've, that's fantastic. Okay, perfect. Yeah.
Suppose I want to need this, want uh, export this, simply click to here, then I simply uh, click on the run again. So now this region is also exported. Okay. And if you want, you can also add here the statistical part. I also add the statistical code, just a minute. So I want to make the time series, uh, I want to make the chart, suppose a uh, bar column chart, and then try to show you all of the area. So just a minute, I simply yeah. try to add this yeah. the chart also. I need to calculate the area in hectares. Hectares, yeah, hectares is fine. So then I can ju just change the image collection to V100 or V200 or anything, any yeah, classification yeah. that is yeah. static. Using the same, yeah, yes? yeah, yeah, yeah. Any, any data set that's static? Yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. One class is a tree cover. The class, what is the class? Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. You have to put them all in, okay. Class is the grassland, yeah, and then cropland afterwards. Cropland, yeah, yeah. Built up, I think. Build up. Built, yeah, is there a, yeah. And bear. Yeah. And this is just your labels, right? This is labels, so. Yeah, labels, yeah. To change, if I want to change shrubland to grassland, I change it to grassland, and that just comes on the menu, right? Yeah. Okay. You can call it bear if you like. Just call it bear. Bear. There's no snow. There, there is no snow and ice here. Yeah. <laughs> so then you just need permanent water bodies. If if you miss one out, does it matter? Uh, or are they in order? Permanent water body is also available, I think. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, okay. So, you run the code, then you can check what the result we can get. Then okay. Then it's not... I just... Okay, so I run the code again. Yeah. Okay, so in this time, 
I just need to suppose in this time I want to for this state I want to need this raster image. I need to export as well as I don't need yeah. to calculate the area. Okay, so for this region, yeah. I just simply click to yeah. here. So now it uh, display the image as well as also uh, it showing the problem. In this time, it's showing this problem is that okay, so max pixel too many pixel were in here. That's why in this time I also need to increasing the value. A scalable I simply put this suppose one one thousand run again. I simply select my state and I see now it appear it. So image reduce this to many pixels. <coughs> okay. okay. Now we have here it. Get the result. Also, since I can get the time series chart. As well as I also get the uh, LLC tip image for this region. Okay, so when I okay. click on here, I can yeah. get uh, in this region, it's appeared for the 10, 10 number class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then also you can see the 20. Then also you can yeah, get the fine. 30. Numbers is fine. Yeah, number is fine with me. Yeah, and this number is fine. You can easily get all of the number details in here. You can see in, this, uh, in here. So number 10 is the tree okay. cover, 20 is the subland. Yeah, no, no, that's land. fine. That's fine. Yeah. But did it stop at it stopped at sixty because of the your okay. code, right? Yeah, and in this time, uh, for this region, only this four class is available. For this class, this class, uh, three, and also again four class. You can download the CSV file format, then we can easily get all okay. of the details in here. Uh, in this unit uh, calculation, you can calculate the area in you can see ten number class, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 number class is okay, available. There are already Okay, there are only those classes in that image. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Suppose you want to need go, another. Go, change, go back to the elephant one, elephant mush. Go back up to elephant mush. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now I am to get this uh, region only for this class. Yeah. And I can easily get a uh, click where I can take the, all of the things you can see and then download the data. Okay. Also, you can see our uh, TP image is also, you can easily download the TP image as a raster also in here for this uh, image. So this is the easiest way we can easily, suppose in this time we can get only for this uh, total uh, yeah, think, five cities. Right? You can easily add the lot of cities. You can simply import your lot of cities shape file in here. Yeah, yeah, all yeah, of the will be same. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure the results are correct though. The, the, the colors are not correct. The colors. Yeah, colors is not doesn't matter. You can simply download this image and use the uh, ArcQGIS software, ArcMap software for processing the no, data no, set. No, no, the colors, the colors of the statistics. Yeah, is that right? If you look at the color of the statistics, there should be a lot of green and a lot of orange and a lot of yellow. So well, I think in this time, this green is identify the class of uh, tree cover. Trees, yeah. Yeah, you can see this is the 10. Okay, this region is for the 10. Okay. And 10 is yeah, that, yeah. 10 is that uh, tree cover or yeah. vegetation. And this uh, color is for, like this, it's the 20. It's, so this uh, color is for the 20 scrub. and 20 is that crop, yeah, crop. Scrub, yeah. Um, right. You can also get the sum on the build up area. Yeah, that's cropping. Cropping. Okay. Yeah. Crop. So crop. Agriculture. 50. Cropping. The build up area. Yeah. So, red color is identical to the build up area. So now you can see, you can simply yeah, yeah. Uh, download this TP image also. You can also get this. Oh, get that. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the process. Uh, you can easily do this. So I also send you the source code, so you can also try to for your own self. Then, if any problem, then we also try to contact. No problem. Okay.
Okay, now I, I want to discuss with you, once I finish this report, I want to discuss with you, maybe we create, uh, I pay you to create a GUI, like, a, like an app, I guess. Yeah. A, a simple app where we can do all these functions, you can do it through an interface. Yeah, so we can easily develop all of the function using the Google Earth Engine platform. So any known coder who don't have any knowledge about the coding, they can easily use this uh, application or, or user interface and they can easily get the different types of uh, remote sensing result. Yeah, no, exactly. And, and I can brand it with my own company name and things, yes. Okay, no problem. I can also support you, no problem. No, but you know what I mean. You showed me your, your, your thing you did for Bangladesh for water. So yeah. I, I, I will need a, a, like a quotation to produce me a, an interactive mapping, you know, front end, which will allow me to choose the site, just like you've done here, and then choose any layer, whether it's the world, uh, dynamic world, or whether it's the Copernicus, or whether it's, yeah. it's anything, SR, SRTM, you know, I can choose or customize to have five or six different data sets, choose for each area, generate the, the insights in terms of area and um, things like that. Yeah. yeah. So right. you, can, okay. you can easily do it in Google Earth Engine platform, very easily you can do I'm it. I'm sure you can, I'm sure you can. Okay. Okay, so I send you this code link, so you can also check it, okay? So thank you for joining. Okay, thanks. Okay. Thanks a lot. Bye. Cheers, bye.